China says North Korea's plan to launch a long-range rocket is inappropriate, and it's doing its best to persuade Pyongyang to give up its plan. According to a senior presidential secretary, Beijing stressed that it continuously calls on the North to instead focus on stabilizing the lives of its people. And regarding the North Korean defector issue, the two leaders decided to work closely together to reach a resolution according to international humanitarian principles and consider each other's concerns in the process. Another topic up for discussion was the Korea-China Free Trade Agreement. Ian Hu agreed to start FTA talks as soon as working-level preparations are concluded, perhaps sometime around May. The two sides also saw eye-to-eye -eye on resuming working-level talks on the Exclusive Economic Zone, or EEZ, which involves recent rival claims over Iodo, a rock outcropping off Korea's southern island of Jeju. Later in the day, President Yi also met with Russian President Dmitry Medvedev and reaffirmed their strong consensus about North Korea's rocket launch plan. Medvedev called it a missile launch, saying that it is an undesirable plan that will make things worse for the political situation on the Korean Peninsula. The Russian leader said that Moscow has already sent a stern message to the North, as China did, and urged Pyongyang to carry out reforms so that its economy can develop for its impoverished people. The two countries also agreed on the need to strengthen nuclear security. Russia, along with the U.S., is a country that actually got rid of nuclear materials after the 2010 Washington meeting. They have already removed 48 tons of highly enriched uranium and have agreed separately with Washington to get rid of plutonium starting from the year 2018. Furthermore, the two agreed to expand their economic cooperation. The bilateral trade volume reached 20 billion U.S. dollars last year, and President Yi said he would encourage Korean companies to participate in infrastructure, science, technology, and modernization projects in Russia. The next series of bilateral talks with Italy, Australia, South Africa, and Denmark will take place here at the COEX Convention Center on the sidelines of two official sessions and a working luncheon on Tuesday. And of course, this whole communique for this year's Nuclear Security Summit will be announced late in the afternoon. Oldinger, Adidas News.